I'm going to ask uh, Ethan Levine about the movie Contagion. So, um, I haven't seen Contagion. Uh, can you just give us a little um, synopsis of what the movie is all about? Um, well, really what the movie is about is uh, a disease that ends up growing into a pandemic and really how a disease that is this serious and this unheard of can spread so quickly and really take its toll not just on a community but really the entire global population and um, you, you go through the process with uh, Matt Damon, the main character, who is uh, immune to the disease and his daughter, who is not who he is, trying to, to protect from it and keep it alive and really how this disease can spread so quickly and become so serious so quickly and the dramatic lifestyle changes that the entire global population has to make to kind of stay out of harm's way, I guess. Um, in the movie, there's a lot of cinematography, just uh, showing different objects, events, places. Um, what can you tell us about this? Um, I would um, I would say the director does a great job of really focusing on on menial common objects that we we see and interact with and take for granted for every day of our lives, and how these menial objects are actually some of the the most important avenues for this disease to spread. And uh, I like how he, he really goes out of his way to make sure that these objects are focused on early in the movie so the viewer gets an idea right away of how this disease is being spread, how easily it could be spread in real life, and, uh, and to not be taking these objects for granted for the rest of the movie. Um, in the movie, there is a bunch, uh, they talk about uh, how modern travel is a big part of how this disease is spreading. Um, what can you tell us about this modern travel? Um, well, modern travel is, is, is a major proponent of how this disease becomes a pandemic and, and spans the in, entire face of the globe. Um, we, as a human population, have, have found efficient ways to travel all around the globe that even 50 to 100 years ago were seen as a myth or a, or a dream. And now, with those modes of transportation, how a disease that might have only affected a community or maybe just the continent of North America before can really just as easily affect the entire human population. Um, no one is safe with as many people travel to different countries or different continents every day and interact with different people who might get the disease and take it back to their communities. Um, I think modern travel and its impact on this disease becoming a pandemic and how much more serious a disease the controlling of a spread of a disease is now. Yeah, I, I really liked how that was highlighted in the movie. Um, in the movie, uh, Contagion, there is, um, they finally mass produced the uh, vaccine for this uh, disease that is uh, going around. Um, what can you tell us about um, the lottery process that they have in the movie? Well, I think what the lottery really represents is the struggles that people that don't have the disease go through just to, as I said before, stay out of harm's way and really make it out the other side. Um, this is really high, centered around uh, Matt Damon's daughter and her boyfriend. Um, the boyfriend is selected on the third day of the lottery, and so he takes a half a week of sick days and is back to his normal life. Meanwhile, the daughter is selected on day 144, meaning she is forced to spend you know, a half a year of her childhood under house arrest, and how she really has no choice but to do this if she wants to live the rest of the years of her childhood and, and her adult life. Um, and I really think this is, you know, whether a, a lottery would actually be applied in real life or they, would, or they would mandate the spread of the vaccine in a different way, I think the concept of the lottery is meant to show the dramatic lifestyle changes that people have to go through to try and contain the spread of this disease and try and stay away from this disease. And it really goes to show how easily the disease can spread because the girl almost literally cannot leave her house because it's the only place that her father knows that the disease is not in the whole world. It's the one place where he can be certain that it's not in the one place he can be certain where she can live and not risk catching the disease. And so uh, whether the lottery is, is accurate to real life or not, I think what it represents has major bearing on the movie and I think it has major bearing on the, uh, on the uh, public health issue at hand addressed in the movie. Um, after watching the movie and uh, seeing everything it entails, um, for uh, a public health um, part of it, do you think that uh, a an pandemic like this could happen in the United States? I think it could happen. I think um, knowing what we know about the spread of diseases and public health concerns and with the uh, 
evolving technologies and the growing knowledge of medicine, I think it's, um, it's less likely, but I absolutely think it's possible and I think the, the things that the movie outlines that are, uh, such as those, those common places or those common surfaces or, or global travel are things that do happen in real life every day. They are things that we can relate to and it does show the, even if it's a slim chance, the possibility of this being spread if a disease this serious and this unknown of was to come about. And, and as a result, I think even though parts of this movie are exaggerated and parts of this movie are made to be seeming more thrilling to sell tickets and make money, I do think it has a lot of informational value in the, in the realm of public health and informing people about the spread of disease and what they can do to control the spread of disease and, and keep themselves and their communities more healthy and now and you know kind of outlines the risks of not doing so and so I think in that regard it as exaggerated as some parts might be I think it does have a lot of informational value to viewers about this public health concern. Alright cool, thank you. Thank you.